you know, but he can walk away. You 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 have to water to the kitchen. Mm. Well, there you go. Oh, all right, I got the abuse now. Let's get on with this thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you're in the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> Phillips had all he can have, and he won't take it anymore. Okay, Papa, I settled it. Yeah. <laughs> He's had all he could stand, and he can't stand no more. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Omega Files. My voice will be going in and out consistently all night. Do not adjust your audio. Uh, yeah, we gathered around to have a little talk about the second trailer they rolled out on us today with some very interesting developments that I'm sure a lot of people are going, ooh, goody, goody, goody about. All right. So let's get around, get hey there, hi there, ho there, some everyone really quick. Let's start with, uh, matter of fact, since we got so many people, I'm going to say, tell us, tell us your name, then go right into what you thought about the trailer. All right, let's start with, I know somebody's been sitting there practically about to go pee-pee in his pants. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Philip. Oh, why me first? Anyway, hi, I'm Philip. I'm from London, and I enjoyed the trailer. It was very nice. The, the new little bits were very intriguing. Um, but I'm, more, I'm more interested in the last little snippet that we saw with, Poor Uncle Pony going, uh, uh, this strange little glow on his hand. So I'm looking forward to that. I, I maintain, viewers of the world, he's regenerating at the end of the episode, episode 12, and we get a new doctor. <laughs> so, so, there you go. Well, I take that as a bet. You can that bet. Pedigram, he took the bet. Next, Connor, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Connor. Uh, the trailer was very good. I like the new bits. Uh, they seemed to want to push out Eaters of Light a bit more as an episode. Uh, that was that seemed to be the main focus of the new bits, and also Missy and her and I think she's in her TARDIS in at least one shot in that, um, which I speculated last time, and it turns out she was just in a cage. Uh, yeah, the Doctor is definitely not regenerating at the end of episode 12. He's in the Christmas special in Peter Capaldi's form, um, and then he will regenerate into a woman. So, yep, that's what it's going to go. <laughs> okay, Kellen. Oh, I'm Colin. If I can hang on my meeting, no. Uh, I thought, uh, yeah, I like the trailer. I'll say it before, say it before I'll say it this time tonight. Doctor Who pyramid shaped iceberg coming out of action. Oh, stroll on a week and a bit's time. <laughs> okay, well, I think William's busy. Oh, let's go to Graham. Uh, how do you follow that? Is there a chair here I could talk to? Um, what can I say? It indulges the appetite, it, in, it, anticipates, the, it anticipates the the grandeur even further. Um, Connor alluded to, you've got a lot more snippets in there for Eaters of Delight. It'll be interesting to see how that episode pans out. Uh, as for Phillips, uh, Fairy, uh, to keep this clean, you're talking out your rectum. Um, as for Connor's Fairy, I think you might be talking about your rectum too, even though I know you want it. So we'll see what happens. I can't wait. Yeah, the bungle in the jungle. Okay, William. Hey now, everybody. This is William from New York City. Um, yeah, watching the new clip, it was pretty good to see some more other clips from some of the episodes that's coming out. Well, we have to consider um, they haven't yet finished filming episode 12, so it's, we're not going to see clips of every episode. We're probably just watching the first half of the season. As for that, in my opinion, that glowing hand is not a regeneration. Um, I think maybe uh, um, somebody is trying to use, learn, know about Time Lords and maybe trying to siphon his 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 regeneration power off him whether that theory holds water we wouldn't find out you know i guess this is my theory and now as for that other theory that somebody's saying he's going to be generating christmas becoming women yes the betting pool is closed that a certain woman actress is in the is in the top betting thing but i my opinion that's just that's just the front for another male um to my a male actor will become the doctor um the, i don't think um the showrunner the new showrunner chris trimner would take such a high risk of using a woman as a as the, as the leading actor in the in the in the show that's been running for 50 years i mean it might happen down the road but for his first season as a showrunner i don't think he would put that that much of a risk on, on, on a on a show that's been watched for over 50 years because some people might not be 
might not enjoy it very much or might not watch it at all. So I don't think he's going to do that yet. So that, that theory, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. Now, nah, Missy, seeing Missy there was great, but I, I love, I love Michelle Gomez. And it, 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 I'd be a little bit very upset if, if, she, if she herself regenerates, whether it be another woman or another man. Um, that's, we, we wait to find out about that. But I, w- I wish she would continue to play this, Missy, you know, but that'll be a, um, um, a known actor or a- actress in the show that we could go back and watch to. Because she has, to me, in my opinion, Missy has a lot to show. And uh, not just being, you say, the doctor's adversary, because there's a lot of things we, we really don't know about the master. So seeing Missy, I, like, I wish we could show some more. Remember in, in that two episodes, that she, in the first two episodes of last season, she did mention that brooch that she had was given to her by the doctor when she had a daughter. Now that was pretty good. That was a, a really little line right there. So hopefully with Missy returning, she could talk some more revealing things about herself and maybe about the doctor like that. So in a way, I don't really want her to leave. And um, we get more into other stuff about the the filming like that. So that I'm gonna cut it right now, this short. Okay, let's go to Elijah. Hello, I'm Elijah from Owatonna, Minnesota. And well, I woke up this morning and first thing that popped up on my phone was for my subscription list, Doctor Who trailer number two. Oh, I was so excited to see this. And of course, to see more of the Mondasian Cybermen, that was very cool. Some of the stuff we've already seen from filming, but to see it like actually on, on the video was pretty cool. And of course, Missy's dab, how, how cool is that? <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, very good trailer. And one month and two days till I meet the man himself. Oh, there's nothing wrong with you, Eagle. All righty, beef hit. Hello, beef here. Now this dropped when I was at work, unfortunately, so uh, <clears throat> I, I I had to postpone. Um, uh, my, my full analysis of it but when, when I when I did have some free time I had to consult with some very specialists and people some some top Whovian scientists uh, mm-hmm. I, I'll need some help with this uh, uh, from uh, uh, Professor Hooter here um, who, 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 <laughs> who with us. Um, uh, but basically um, so because uh, it proved so popular I, I decided to bring bring back an old friend um, now, what I thought is we, we could uh, basically, my reaction to the trailer, by means of a mathematical formula, uh, uh, C times K equals um, M brackets E over uh, F times U. Now, like they say in school, you do need to simplify things and show you're working. So that translates to C K equals uh, M E over F U, then you multiply by F U. Um, F U dot C K equals me. Oh, fuck me. Um, <laughs> if you do it that way, it's fuck me sideways. Um, <laughs> If, if like, uh, uh, I am here surrounded by, uh, apart from some people, a lot of like-minded people, um, it's uh, fuck me squared, uh, which is uh, <laughs> fuck me too. <laughs> um, if I had to put it in, uh, express it in forms of a graph. Well, here we go. Um, there we go. Right, so what we do is we'll have uh, that, that's trailer one, that's trailer two. This is the advent of the show, and this is obviously E for excitement. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll have, uh, uh, here's where the trailer hits, each respective trailer hit. Uh, my interest was, oh, oh, like that. And it was, oh, oh, like that. It was <laughs> mega exciting. Yes. Um, and I think in, in conclusion, really, I've, uh, I thought what I'd do is in honor of the show. And, uh, uh, I, I've, I've basically tried to express it in forms of emojis. Um, <laughs> so, uh, that, uh, bro fist eggplant 100 percent. it's uh my my, oh, my yeah. feelings towards the trailer in the form of emojis um i have to echo the sentiments of what a lot of people have said and the one thing it has shown this trailer as much as the second one has done even more is that what stephen moffat said they made it look hell of a really really good for the very small amount of money comparatively that mm-hmm. the show does it looks 
glorious. They haven't really held back on this. It's going to be something great. I'm massively, massively, as you can see, excited um, for what is going to be coming. And I just can't wait for it. Uh, I, I, it, it can't happen soon enough. Okay, let's go to Alex. <laughs> Okay, uh, Alex from Massachusetts here. Um, I did like the trailer. Uh, hopefully they will show, I mean, they showed mostly everything. They showed the three protagonists. They showed the master, but they also showed the Cybermen and the Ice Warriors, and hopefully they'll uh, show more. And, of course, they also had something which seemed that Peter Capaldi was falling or regenerating, but... It's just to bring an interest, and uh, it did its job, and we'll see what happens on the, what is it, the 15th or the 16th of April? 15th. 15th, yeah. All right, let's go to Texas Tim. Yeah, this is Texas Tim coming to you from Missoula, Montana. Yeah. And uh, this is a very good trailer. It uh, ticks all the boxes. I think what you're going to get, oh, I, I agree with Beefhead, who said it looks like, they're really showing off what they can do with Little Buddy. And it looks like a really good run of episodes. It looks like they're trying to give you what a lot of people have been asking for, a, cla a bunch of classic stuff. So you got your Ice Warriors, you got your Mondesi and Cyberman, you got the Master back for for another, you know, bit of dabbing or whatever it is. So <clears throat> um, I, I think it's going to be fun. I mean, that's, that, that's all you can say about it. I don't have a graph or a chart or anything. So, so. Nah. Just saying, bring it on. It's less than two weeks away. Have a beer. Oh, and, oh, and don't you think maybe they just filmed that little bit with the hand just to drive Phil crazy? Yeah, can we say Stolen Earth? Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, I mean, what you see it, though? Impossible Astronaut? No, but they filmed, like, they filmed that. They showed that they, they can film a little bit. Like, they filmed that little bit with Bill just to promote her. When was that? You know, over a year ago to say this is the new yeah. girl. And she's, that's a bit that's actually you're going to see in an episode this year. So they've already got the Christmas script written. And all they had to do was just say, okay, just lay there for a second. We'll take a picture and throw an effect on your hand. Okay, there you go. Boom. That's just going to drive Phil mad. Yep. And that's what they did. You know how Stephen Moffat hates you, Phil. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Whip them into a frenzy. Yeah, exactly. And Connor, okay. no, 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 Connor, no, it's not going to happen this time. Maybe next time, Connor. Maybe next time. Maybe. Let's go to the blow by blue. All right. First up, this is obviously during episode nine on Mars because there's the Zulu era British soldiers. There he's in the spacesuit. Of course, there's Bill in her spacesuit. That's allegedly the Martian Queen. Yeah, it kind of looks like, wow, I just farted. You know, kind of look on it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. And I have no idea where the hell this is. I know this was filmed in a quarry, but. <laughs> well, it's in, front of, it's in front of Stephen Price's house from all the rain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just waiting for that scene. Hello, Howard here. If you look at the rookie inclination, isn't that from the um, pilot? How do you know that? I'm pretty sure that's David Suchet. In the back of the. Oh, yeah. Is it not? Oh. Mm, I think that's be. David Suchet, and I think that might be Nardal Ruin. And which case that's episode four, then? I yeah. That so then, if that's true, this is the Haunted Hub, aka Knock Knock. Knock Knock, yeah. yeah. Eaters of the Light. Eaters of Light, yeah. Eaters of Light, you think, episode 10? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. if you, there's another scene where it kind of matches up that blue bit. Yes, it is opening up to the secret TARDIS bathroom. Okay. <laughs> and here's this damn thing again. <laughs> that keeps popping up, that particular ship. So Somebody's <laughs> saying it's from Jamie Matheson's episode. That's what uh, I've heard, but I don't know. It reminds me of the old story, it's, The it's, Wheel. It's no the space satellite for the Eggerson episode, folks. It's don't worry. Gotta, it's got to be the wheel in space. Yeah, no, it really looks like it. It's a good tribute there. Yeah. They're gonna go visit Zoe. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, this is Bryce Star in her eye, or AK. That's a pilot. pilot. Yeah, yeah. And I have no idea who this guy is. He looks like C three PO after a drug binge. What did you think it was, Elijah? Go on. <laughs> uh, a pre Mondesi and Cyberman, just because all the bits and bobs. Whereas Beef said it could be a, uh, you know. 
a suit it, for diving. It looks but. like an old timey diving suit. If you look to the right hand side of the head, it looks like a sort of gramophone spout to it. Mm. And it looks like one of those old school sort of diving suits that's just been done. Um, but also the woman in it has got like a sort of, um, uh, looks like a sort of insignia mm-hmm. on her arm to it as well. So I, I, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Look at all the different windows it has. So. Oh, that's true. Tubing. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a steampunk Cyberman. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no, I'm a street dog <laughs> come. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> expects the Spanish Inquisition, though. No. Oh, there we go. The club is getting haunted. Hmm. Confession ended badly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the that they, can, they can transpose themselves through solid objects. No, that's handy. Yeah. Anyone figured out who these guys are from again? Uh, it's all I know is it's from the one bit where there are a bunch of people are in Capaldi's TARDIS. Yeah, the yeah. Episode six. Extreme. Episode six. Yeah, it's episode six. Yeah. Is that the one with the truth lot and the? Yeah. Well, well, the, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right. That would be extremist then. Yeah. And there's that damn guy who's kicking Capaldi's ass all over the place again. Spider duck, spider duck. Yeah, and I still can't get a good zoom in on whatever the hell that thing is. Dolph yeah. Punk. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, and here's a damn Roman soldiers again. Look at this. No it sign has of Rory. to be Rory. Yeah, it has yeah, to be yeah. Rory. Yeah, yeah. You centurion, you. Yeah, that's why I'm that, here. Yeah, Roman. yeah. yeah. If you look, the light literally grabs him. <laughs> it yanks him out, yeah. It's the eaters of the light. They're eating that all right, yeah. And we all know what that is. Oh, God, Missy. Dad. I need my iron brew. Oh, wow. Wow. What's yeah. that in her yeah. ear? What is this? I'm hearing me. She's communicating with her other incarnations. Oh, behave oh, yourself. Yeah. That was your other theory, wasn't it, um, Connor? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's been on Gallifrey Base today. <laughs> it's not a theory. It's happening. Yeah, right. It's an eerie marshmallow control device. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> and here's poor Heather getting turned to water again. Ah, oh, there goes there goes Bo's, now, uh, t- t- Taco Bell. Yeah. Now for for Graham, he's just wishing they'd turn the water into wine, but that's another story. <laughs> that's not Johnny Cash song. I died laughing because Gina thought, "Oh my God, is that Jenna Coleman? Don't tell me she's back." I'm like, "No." Oh God. <laughs> oh. Nope, she'll cancel twice. Now, this is Happy knock Wood knock. Chicks. That's from Knock Knock. Yeah. yeah. Well done, Philip. Who's there, Phil? Yeah. Creepy. You see the Roman there, There's those damn Romans again. I swear Moffat's obsessed with freaking Romans. <laughs> Maybe when his kid interviewed him, he should have said, Dad, do you like to watch movies about gladiators? <laughs> Maybe he's a fan of Cup Douglas. Yeah, well. Uh, I'm Spartacus. There we go. Yeah, we uh, there. there we go. Look at the, um, Amazing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Clean yourself up, Elijah. <laughs> well, I the way they design these so that they kind of like they're in between the ones mm. you saw like on Moonbase and the ones you saw on 10th Planet. They're because yeah, of the smaller yeah. head gear, the smaller chest devices and all that. So it's kind of like they're in between. That's what I like about it. Is the is the the weapon is in there with the with the hands of it. The what that they use? Yeah, it's right there. Mm. This right here. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was their forty-five collection. Mm. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's their old iPod shuffles. Um, <laughs> I was about to say this looks like an old style jukebox. <laughs> yeah. Please turn on shuffle. <laughs> please, Mister. Please don't play B seven. <laughs> mm. Steve Jobs will have his revenge. No, I would have yeah. liked to see a bit more action from this. So. Is it just me, or does it look like Skeldick had a baby with the Predator? Oh. Uh, yeah, that could be. Dude, that could be Skeldick's daughter. <laughs> Skeldick's. So that's how I did the Martian Queen, eh? Sure. Kiss me. See, she's even got the dreadlocks and everything. Mm. That's oh. a podcast hurt when a female doctor's announced. That is one of them. I've been five years, Connor. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty pretty. Man, there is one ugly butt. Looks like a terror dog from Ghostbusters. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, I see they're using like some reflection things on it. Some so mirrors, that, probably. Is this again the Eaters of yeah. the Light episode? Yeah, that's that's the opening from that uh, cave you saw in the sort of hut you saw in the earlier building, and you can see there sort of Celts, and you can actually see a couple of um, Romans in the background on it too. Yeah. Nice pooch. <laughs> Down boy, it's Kujul. Now is that the uh, column in the TARDIS? Yeah. It looks like it to me, but yeah, it could be uh, yeah. Who's it, TARDIS? It could be a beaker in a kitchen that they really pushes off. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now are we, fi- yeah, is she finally getting her own TARDIS, or is she stealing the Doctor's? Good point. Good point. I would you say they've been up like, the background to, to, to tell. Yeah, really. it's, it's hard, but it they definitely it looks like they vamped her up a bit more as well this season as well. Oh yeah. Vamped? What? As in golf? No, as in uh, they've, they've upped the sexy scale, uh, which I'm sure Connor's very pleased all about. All right, oh. episode eight costume. That's all I know. Eight. Yeah. Hey, look, Philip, my hand's not glowing. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. It doesn't mean he can't wear it again later on. He does. He, that's, so, oh, that's not though again. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, it, I kind of like that, that thing they had with the little mini clip they let out, you know, with the Pearl Mackey interview where he's like, got a whole freaking, like, pencil holder full of freaking sonic screwdrivers. Like, what the hell? Is that third and fourth screwdriver? This is definitely fourth because the third has that little yellow with the stripes here. Yeah. You see how, how you can see the wire going down his sleeve? Well. See it? Oh, yeah. The bottom. <laughs> oh, production error. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. I sure you can catch it probably within the shot. Yeah. Yeah, well. That's okay. definitely thin ice. Hmm. I'll never look at that scene again. <laughs> scene? Like the same way. I'll never look at it the same way, knowing <laughs> he didn't actually catch it. Just kidding. Oh, they have. <laughs> there's the monkeys. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. And that's Miss Shana, the Wicked Witch of the West. Huh. You know what we need to do? I need to get a better shot of this and edit in the doctor like stealing the Necromonicon from Evil Dead. Mm, there you go, yeah. <laughs> or one of Donald Trump's executive order women folders. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh no, it's almost there. Here it comes. <coughs> I need a giant fart. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, uh, unless it was actually going to be in the actual season, man. Sure, they would. Yeah, they would because it's going to make people watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's you know it's creating yeah. buzz. So, Philip, you don't quite grasp the concept of the internet. As I said earlier, the internet are, are gullible morons. They will take something, they yeah. will run with it, and then it's just a case of if if somebody's talking about it, job done. Well done, the production team. Now all these people are going to tune in. Going, he's going to die in that last episode. He's going to die in that last episode. He ain't. Okay, fine. Have it your way. <sighs> Reality. Sure, if you mm-hmm. have it my way is reality, then I oh, will. Yeah. <laughs> and, and just for the, the, the point of etiquette, in case anything happens in the comments section, when I say the internet is gullible, I don't mean every single person on the internet. I just mean that rogue element who don't have a freaking clue. Everybody but the people who listen to this show. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> It's not a bad. I need, 50, I need that, and I need 15 more of you to subscribe. Okay. Yeah. Do it now. Prefer it a bit before the regeneration, folks. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Are you Are you thinking going to do another trailer? No. Like no a week no. before? Episode no. one, that's it. the Tim Wells rule of two here. And, yeah. Exactly. It stuck. It stuck again. Well, it's two days here, but it's still stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you're less than two weeks from the show airing. I don't think they want to give away too much money. <clears throat> I think somebody phoned up the BBC. The hell are you doing, BBC? You're late. You're trying to block the criminals through a two here? Come on. Maybe they didn't want to put it out with it being April Fool's weekend. That's probably, that's probably it. Oh, that's yeah. who it is. Maybe that's, that's why they waited a, a couple days. But it does. It looks very lush, very grandiose, and it doesn't look like it's going to be just... Oh. And I agree with all the people out there. If the doctor's trapped on Earth, it's just like in the first episode. Exactly. And just just to give you some kind of hope, Philip, worst case scenario, if you're correct, that thing there will be some type of weed in until Christmas. Uh, Nothing more. There's no point in having him regenerate 
at the end of these. Uh, Who's saying about regenerating? Or even better yet, he's going to start to regenerate, and then the whole Christmas special is going to be Bill. There you go. Oh, yeah. Bill who? Yeah. And then Tom Baker will show up, and then Peter yeah. Davison and Colin Baker. <sighs> and, then, and then it'll be Bill who? Bill who? Yeah, Bill because who? Because of the lengthy way. <laughs> Because of the lengthy time we have to wait for season 11 to start, why not have you regenerate at the end of, of, of episode 12, leave it, the Christmas special will be the, for the new Doctor, just for one story so you get an idea. Um, do, you do you remember the twin, Do you remember how effective the twin dilemma was? There you go. Yeah. Well, a, if you, Capaldi, Capaldi a, said he's yeah. coming back to film his stuff June and finishing up in July. He and, already I, I, said it. And if you want that to happen, Phil, you better give Chris Chibnall a phone and let him know he's writing a fucking Christmas special. Yeah. Just say Maybe it's a collabor- collab- oh, I can't say that word. collaboration. Collaboration? I doubt it. No. No. no, there's no. Last hurrah. He's going to hog it all up as much as he can. You know? This is his last bit. I think he wants to go out and see on his own terms. I don't think he's going to hand it. He'll do a collaboration. Okay. Uh, not only that, I don't think that, I mean, I don't think it would be a good idea to have a standalone new Doctor episode and then you don't see him again. <laughs> For six or eight or nine or however many months before, nine the months series. technically, yeah. So, so I mean, because they are, you know, we learned the hard way that wasn't a good idea in eighty eighty four. So it's not a good idea now either. Yeah, but you can set up. You can set up for the end of for for, for when he regenerates. Whether he regenerates in Christmas, you still got to wait that, that extra long month for the new doctor to do his thing. So why not? But you get nothing to base it on. Once it comes back, you're off to the races with a new guy. What if everybody yeah. hates the new guy and nobody comes back? Exactly. That that's that that's the thing. That's you, the... you you want to build up attention and bring people <clears throat> into the the new series, and by that you have the new ep- the first episode with the new guy. If you do it at Christmas and like they were saying, if it doesn't test well, it, or if it doesn't yeah, feed favourably, you're going to have more of a drop off than if you kept the suspense going. The, the only other time they've done that, they've done McCall and Baker was with Dave Tennant, but you only had a three month wait between Christmas Invasion and New Earth. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, in so, the words of Uncle Milty, master of television, always leave them wanting more. Mm. What we do? So, I told it. well, I think that's what about covers it. So everybody, mm-hmm. until next time, Let me see you. care, ta-ta. Mm. Have a good one. (laughs) And video.